Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to part 18 of the Wales campaign for Medieval 2 Total War. So, what we are going to be doing in this episode is trying to crush Norwich with Howell Gronwy. He's marching towards there right now. We're going to be attacking Nottingham from the north with uh, Traherne of Rheiniog and Maedhi. And they are Welsh spearmen, Sherwood archers and Merinoyth spearmen. And from the south with the king himself. We're going to take Nottingham this part, hopefully. On top of that, we're going to try and take Newcastle upon Tyne, and all that should be left is York and Lincoln, and of course Dublin, which is of course over here in Ireland. So that's the the plan. I do have my ships to move as well, which we're going to do. So let's move these ships. And they can actually blockade the port for me, because I do have a mission from the um, the nobles to do that. I think we are in a pretty decent position now, so just double check a couple of things. Yeah, we defeated that army there last time. We had a very long, uh, long episode last time. Oh, Shaftesbury's not happy. Why aren't you guys happy with me? Um, unrest, insurgents, no govern, governors, which I can understand. Do we have anybody nearby? Winchester. Oxford doesn't have anyone. If I take you out of there, you can go to Shaftesbury for me in that case. You're just sitting there, Yago of Ceredigion, and you guys should be okay there. So there we go. We can, yeah, we can probably end the turn now. So let's do that. Turn 25 of the campaign is actually what are the English doing. What the hell? They don't know what they're doing. Back and forth the bridge, doing patrols most likely. And we have a candidate for adoption. Sustenin Cecile. He has mixed loyalties. I don't like that. So I'm going to send you to your death. Most likely. Right in in Shaftesbury. Which isn't good. So what we're going to do is get that general to Shaftesbury. And there we go. Look at that straight away. Because there wasn't a governor. And Launceston is okay as well. So we can... Got some ballistas and catapults in London as well. So what we want to do is actually get them both of those units to actually join up with the king. He won't get there this turn, but he can march. I have some more on the way as well, which we're going to send towards the fort. And we're going to be bombarding the uh, Nottingham. They won't be able to hold out against all of this, so we're going to eventually do that. Um, you can join up with the king as well, so we've got some more cavalry. And we're going to attack Norwich with this army. We can actually assault them straight away, which we are going to be doing. And let's see what the uh, statistics are. So it's one-to-one -one ratio. I'm going to have to fight this one. So let's click the fight battle and jump straight on in the campaign map. And in this episode, I'm actually using two different recorders at the same time. I'm using um, the NVIDIA Shadow Play to record, but I'm also using Fraps. And what I'm going to do is basically test out the recording of both of these softwares together to see what gives me the smallest size file size file size there we go and the best kind of performance so we're going to be doing that that's my plan anyway and we're going to start right away it's very foggy weather isn't it so what we're going to be doing is grabbing all of my bows yet again it's the usual kind of strategy that we've been doing this campaign group the bows put them into a uh, square formation if it lets me like that excellent Grab the general. But he's only the general himself, so he can just stay where he is. And then we have some infantry units as well, which we're going to group up. There we go, lovely. You guys can form some sort of line for me over there. While my artillery bombards. And we need to find where the English are. And it does appear they have their own ballista crew on the way. Plus, they do have. The general, of course, looks like there's probably two cavalry units there, unless, of course, this is a family member, which means there probably will be more, so we're going to have to be wary of them. Uh, I'm getting 60 frames per second right now with the two uh, utilities recording at the same time, so that's very good. And I will actually be upgrading my PC soon. I'm going to be getting an i7-470... Sorry, an i7-4790K processor. A new motherboard that's going to be compatible with it and a new water cooler as well so I'm going to be 
doing quite a lot of upgrading. Plus, I'm getting a new case as well for the PC. I'm going to be building it myself, so I'm, I'm very excited. It's going to be my first ever PC build. But that's going to be in probably two to three weeks' time. So by by February, that will be that will be made once I get all the parts together. 64% damage. Where'd that crew go? I'm, act I'm probably going to charge the crew with my general. I'm actually going to start walking everything up now. Got to watch out because there are towers there. 76% damage will be in before we know it. Let's just fast forward until we get in. There we go. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Go back to normal pace. Get them in. Get the general in. Get the artillery crew. Both of them are going to be attacking the generals. My general's going to attack their crew. Get them in. Get the bows. I'm actually going to be putting the bows up on these towers. Because why the hell not? It's going to be great. It's going to be straightforward, this is. They, ha they don't have anything else that can attack me here at Norwich. So it's the best thing to do. We can take out the ballista straight away. There we go. General's charging in. Give a rallying cry. They're going to be gone now. There we go. Disrupted them. And we are attacking them. 20 versus 21. Or 20, sorry. Did we lose a horse then? Don't think we did. No, we haven't. Good. They're losing crew. That's good. We should be fine. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. And basically my spearmen are going to go straight up forward to here. Because they are possibly going to be coming out. There are actually 31 feudal knights, so it's one unit altogether. And my general's done a fantastic job of defeating this artillery crew. They can continue to attack the artillery crew. Excellent. Keep going, men. Keep going. My ballistas haven't started firing yet. My bows have, though. They're going to be shooting high up into the sky. I'm keeping an eye on the feudal knights in case they do, in fact, charge me. Although my infantry will be there before we know it. And they are routing now the ballista, which is fantastic. Is very much in our favor. General's Everybody doing well. Took them all out. Are. Excellent. In that case, my general can hide around the corner. And my infantry can push up. I think. All my bows are going to aim for the feudal knights. I'm just going to place these nearby. Whoa, don't hit my old men, dudes. Unfortunately, the artillery seems to be attacking this building instead, so... We may want to try and move them along a little bit. I think we'll be okay. We're going to actually hit them now. Hit the cav. There we go. Just attack them all. Let's charge them. The general's going to be sitting in wait nearby. All the bows are going to be going forward to attack them as well. We're just going to overwhelm them, basically, with absolutely everything that we can muster. I may actually move my uh, ballista crew slightly to the left, because they're not going to get any good shots from there. There we go. We've killed 20... They dumped 23, so we've done a fantastic job on them. Let's zoom in and see some of the action. Oh, look at that. He's dead. Fantastic. We're going to wipe them out, basically. That is the aim. And they have another ballistic crew right waiting right here, which I didn't see, so... I'm actually going to be charging them. Oh, my goodness. You just took out some of my horses with that ballista. Oh, dudes, don't walk, run. Took two of my horses out, then. 
four cavalry remaining. The general's dead, so we've won this battle easily. I can actually tell my ballista to stop firing. Tell my bows to stop firing as well. There we go, lovely. Got the charge on as well. And this battle's over, so let's fast forward it to the end. Excellent, we've done it. Lost eight men, that's great. Straightforward victory, and we have taken the settlement. Norwich is ours. Victory. I'm going to sack Norwich to get the extra income. Which is fantastic. He's got a trait increase of plus two. Retinue expands. He's a veteran warrior now. And what does Norwich have altogether? So it has. We can construct a catapult maker. A leather tanner could be useful. Let's get the leather tanner for the upgrade in the armor. Don't want to convert it to castle. Get a brothel as well. Get some land clearance. Going to spend quite a bit of money. We don't need the ballista maker for now. We can get a cog or a diplomat. And we can retrain some units. So that will help us there. And let's just check our public order as well. So we are 10% Welsh. But our public order is actually very good. Because our health, our fear, buildings, and entertainment. Insurgence is going to be the main thing. So if we move many units out of this army. Or out of this settlement. Then of course the public order will change. But for now that's very good. And it's another weakness that we've inflicted upon the English. Tomorrow. Now... We will soon be thinking about leaving. Actually, I think I will be leaving with this army. They're going to join up with the Ballistas to give a nice big full stack. And we're going to be heading towards Nottingham. And the King is going to move as well. He can get there in two turns, so we should be fine. I could get some more mercenaries, but I don't see the point at the moment. We have quite a, a large number of units. We have plenty of Ballista as well, so they don't really want to be sallying out, do they? And of course, up here... We have another settlement to take, and that is Newcastle upon Tyne. And again, we can get mercenaries, which I'm actually going to do for this battle. And we're going to be assaulting them. Newcastle upon Tyne against Prince David. I could attempt a knight battle, which I think I will. 604 versus 331. Let's fight this battle. We outnumber them 2 to 1. The Prince of Wales versus an English captain. This gives me control of the North if I take it. The North will be under my control and we will completely envelop the English. So let's start this battle straight away. We have plenty of siege equipment as well. I'm trying to think what would be the best policy in this battle. Um, the Gwent Raiders to ram down the door would be the best bet. We have some English heavy billmen as well, which I'm actually going to place nearby. And then I have my Gwent Raiders, which are going to be going up on the walls. And they're going to be taking out this side. So, begin with, send them there. I'm going to send both of these forward with their rams. Let's grab all bows, whether they be mercenary or... Welsh bowmen. They're going to be grouped up in a nice long line. Just checking all the units that I have. I have some skirmishers which I can utilise later on as well. I'm going to be losing lots to these towers unfortunately. That's why I'm hoping that the ladders are going to do me a decent job as well. There are spear militia there. They are militia of course so we should be we should be fairly okay with the Gwent Raiders I would assume. We don't have siege equipment this time so it's going to be a little bit weaker than what we usually are. Although this is just spear militia mainly don't actually have bows apart from this tower so if we get through the gate we should be fine and we should be able to steamroll them I would have thought we are losing plenty of Gwent Raiders I'm actually gonna tell my bows now to begin to fire on the spear militia at the front I'm gonna put them into a loose formation as well And my Gwent Raiders that are going up this wall are going to attack the Spear Militia. Nice bit of space so they shouldn't be too despondent there. We are starting to ram now. We're going to drop the siege equipment here. 
long before our enemies defenses and this has actually worked well because they've actually destroyed the one ram by lots of things which worked as a good decoy because I can now damage the gate this side I'm going to be used as fodder at the moment which is fine the decoy is working and let's see it's one for one so far by lots of things one Gwent Raider has been killed a couple of spearmen have been killed so it's pretty even I'm going to be telling the bows to go to normal the battle is very much in bows our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, they can attack the spear militia there. The and we're through the gates. That's what I wanted. I can now charge through and take out that one unit that's on the floor. Which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Let's charge in with these two. They've lost most of their men, unfortunately, but I can now reinforce with everything else. And the general, of course. He's going to go flying in. Excellent. What we like to see. Prince David is going to fly into this settlement and hopefully take Newcastle. We're losing one of the Gwent Raider units. But we are doing... Well, it's been pretty even on this wall so far. I don't mind that because they're tying them up. They're not going to be able to reinforce. The Prince is going to charge in now. Unfortunately, these are spearmen. We're going to fly through to the centre, I think. Mailed knights there. Oh, it's going to be awkward against the mailed knights. As a matter of fact, though, it might be worth it. If I can break through, I'm actually going to group up here with Prince David. I've lost lots of men, unfortunately. Ah, oh, no. I've lost the prince. <laughs> prince David is dead. Long live the prince. I was hoping the Spear Militia would probably rout. That's what I was thinking anyway. Hasn't quite been the case. And where's the horses going? Dudes, come back. Holy crap. Infantry just wasn't strong enough. 58 against 68. My god, these Spear Militia are doing much better than what I had anticipated. Unfortunately. Well, I was hoping that they would do it much better than this. I'm going to have to use up all of my ammunition and probably try and do it that way. Charge in with the nine cavalry units that I have remaining. Oh, this is bad. Poo poo poo. Got lots of bows left though. Just pummel the English as much as we can with the bows. That's all I can do really. Cavalry's gone now anyway, so... Let's work with what we have left. The Grand Raiders ran from the walls as well, so they only killed four of them, unfortunately. I thought they would do a lot better than that. Very, very disappointing for me. My bows are, in fact, doing damage. And we do have quite a bit of ammunition left, so we're going to have to just fire our way through. Spear militia charging out, so we're just going to have to do it that way. And the skirmishers can continue to hit the spear militia. My oh my, this is a very bad situation for us. Going to have to get one or two more units to reinforce, I think. And the mailed knights have actually come out as well. 31 of them. If only I could have taken the, those towers. 61 spear militia remain. I'm going to fast forward this. 59. We are doing damage to them. 57. I don't think I got enough arrows though. Let's go back to normal speed. Let's work this out strategically. So we're going to have the, you guys hit them on the wall. You're going to go for these. You're going to go for them. And you're also going to go. Oh, actually. Gwent Raiders, you're going to be sitting tight, I think. You can continue to hit the Spearman there. And you guys are also going to be hitting the Spearman there. We're going to fast forward. So be careful, they have cavalry waiting in the wings. 
We're basically just going to use up our ammunition and leave, I think. My lord, only half our force remains. We actually took out 24% of them, so we didn't kill enough of them. Nowhere near enough. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to withdraw with everyone that's remaining. Makes sense, really. Makes sense. I won't be able to take this settlement. We lost the prince, unfortunately, so... Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a new Prince of Wales. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Damn it, I can't believe I lost the prince. I know they were spears and I charged straight through them, but they were militia and I thought they would break, especially with all the other units nearby, but that just was not the case. And I'm actually going to play normal speed because I've just seen an opportunity, so it appears that their spear units are actually coming out. They're coming out to play. I see an opportunity to Kill a bunch of spear militia. Oh shit. This actually suits me. The fact that they've turned around. Yes, this does in fact suit me. Because I can now attack them one at a time. They've actually come out with one spear militia unit. Which I will soon be engaging with the Mirinoid spearmen, which are better spearmen than them. Although they are exhausted and they are wavering, so... I may have to be careful when I do decide to... Attack them. Oh my god, they're broken and they're exhausted. Why? Why are you exhausted? Why are you broken? Oh, well, they're dying. Which is always good. 45 remaining. What's going on up here? That's fine, they can continue to do that. Oh my god, the Gwent Raiders just ran. Try and bow them to death. The thing is, I can take another unit out now, I'd be happy, and it would be worth it in the long run. Whoa, don't attack them. Withdraw. Don't waste units, run. You can jump in and be the fodder for me. Well, I can get all my bows away. Although they withdraw in a different direction now, which I'm disappointed with. <laughs> We actually routed them as well. Look at that, we routed them. Crossbows can turn around. Welsh skirmishers can turn around. Because this is good, because we've actually routed them and we can pick them off then so they won't spawn back on the map when it comes to fight the English again at Newcastle. They've come back as well, see? So it's definitely worth it. There's more spearmen on the way, so I'm going to fast forward this now. Go back. 21 remaining. Pass forward again. And they're gone again. 15 remaining. This is definitely worth it. Back to normal speed. So 8 remaining, that'll do. Right, withdraw. Everyone withdraw. Control A. Withdraw. There we go. Fast forward. There we have it, guys. That's the end of that battle. Got them down to five spear militia, that's good enough for me. How the hell are we gonna... Where's the line to? The line's there, so just cross there and it'll be good. Come on guys. Just cross. Be a good Welshman and cross. Oops. They're not chasing me anymore, so... At least we took something out. I like to think that if I lose a battle, I do gain something with the loss. And with one less unit to worry about, I have actually gained, even though I lost the Prince and I lost the battle. But apart from that, you know, we should be okay. Just double check everything is rubbed in. Appears to be. Come on, dudes, just go across the line. This 
guy is going to be running away. I think he's being chased by cavalry. Spear militia. Damn. We'll be gone soon. They'll all be gone. Just allow this to play its way out. Nice looking level, mine. I like the the lake going going through where the settlement is and settlement just there. Nice designed. Some very good design castles in Medieval too, especially with the mods like Third Age. The corner should be here. There it is. Get to there, we'll be fine. Bam, 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 bam. 60 frames per second, pretty good with that. Pretty happy. There we go. That's the end. So there we go, we lost that one, but we, we'll probably take the settlement in the next turn or two. I'm thinking. Oh, we're actually on Scottish land right now. Don't do that. Don't piss the Scottish off. Prince of Wales is dead. <laughs> Prince Yago, oh my god. The idiot that's not doing nothing in the south. Oh, he's gone to Shaftesbury. You're actually, you're actually the Prince of Wales. Oh my goodness gracious me. Right, we're gonna, in that case, we're gonna give you a good army. So, we want three Maronoid Spearmen. We want three Gwent Raiders. We want three English Billmen. We're gonna give you very good infantry. And what else can we construct here at Shaftesbury? Garrison Quarters. Stables. Oh, we can get some stables for you, I think. Get you a stable there. Small chapel will be useful. And then, oh, hell weird. We actually want a bowyer. We'll get that as well. So we've got plenty of things. Shaftesbury's going to have the Prince of Wales' very own army. Now, Carlisle is going to have to be producing a lot more units for me. So, just get recruiting. Oh, this is terrible. I can't believe we lost that. So disappointed. Look, uh, no my like the Scottish would just come in and take Newcastle. I use my diplomat. Make an offer. Rejected. Become a vassal. <laughs> Should we just offer them that? It's very demanding, I bet there is. Even though I'm gonna wipe them out off the map. Kill every single Englishman that there is. I think that we're okay in this area, so I don't need to keep Chester reinforced as much as this. So these three are going to go there. And then Lancaster can give me some Maronite Spearmen. Captain Einion is going to go towards Newcastle. And these small armies are basically going to be used to get some boatmen there. Reinforce the boatmen I currently have. Get the experienced English billmen there. And the English billman there. I'll do. Carlisle can be trained. Not yet though. Okay, so that's good for that. So Newcastle will, will fall in the next part. It's gonna take two turns and one turn to get there. We can we can wait that long at least. I need to start thinking about York and Lincoln. So it's York, Lincoln and Newcastle that it remains in my way. So what we're gonna be doing but first of all, we're going to just check the stuff that we have here. So settlements, population, Montgomery is actually the biggest settlement. Canalavon, Oxford and Cardiff is actually my capital, which is quite funny. Um, public order, so Shrewsbury actually has the best public order. Pembroke, Canterbury, Cardiff, Shaftesbury does as well. The lowest is Launceston. But they're all pretty happy with me, so that's good. And income, Norwich actually gives me the most income. So look at that. We've taken a very good settlement with Norwich. London as well, you'd, which you'd expect. So that's that. I'm actually going to be going back to Cardiff briefly to see what else we can actually recruit here. So I'm thinking a port, a church maybe, brothel. The brothel will do for now. Plus the town hall. Just things to keep the population happy. Keep things ticking over. So what we're going to do is click end turn. Turn 26 is coming up. And oh my god they have left Nottingham. Ho oh, ho. 
they've made a blunder unless they attack me they're attacking me aren't they that suits me I think this suits me let's have a look oh yes this suits me definitely they split their forces which is a big mistake my V, I got two generals pity they're not broken up as well actually favors them but I'm gonna be fighting this I need to rely on my bow superiority in this battle Let's fight the battle on the battlefield. And what we're going to be doing is... First of all, we're going to assess the battlefield. I'm hoping it's a bridge of some sort. If there's a bridge, we can win this easily. Start deployment. Oh, damn it. It's an open field. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's, this could work. For, oh, it's a nice open field. Yeah, this can definitely work. They're going to come right up to me. We're going to have them on the flank. Spearmen at the ready. Basically, these spear units are going to be protecting these guys like so. They're going to fire over their heads anyway. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of bows. Loose formation in a line. We're going to be firing into the flank from this side. And then we have cavalry. The most cavalry I think we've ever had this campaign. I'm going to deploy them on the right flank. Just there with the spears grouped up into group 5. And again, they're going to be on the right flank protecting the cav. So that's a pretty decent formation. The enemy have brought up more men. And they're actually there, so we've actually outflanked them straight away. We can outflank them, so... Oh my god, press the wrong button. Fire. They're all firing, and you just swing around quickly now. We can fire upon the Yeoman archers, and can bring the spears into the play as well. Didn't think they would deploy there. Where the English are actually coming at me on the right flank as well, so I need to try and win this battle in the centre quickly and overwhelm them which is what I'm going to be doing that's why I've wheeled around my spear units uh, I need to check what they have over here quickly I'm trying to th see what they have, they have quite a lot of armies quite a lot of units, sorry probably got a mixture which appeared to archers and spears, yeah it's a mixture what, exactly what I thought armoured sergeants at the front get the spear into position quickly hopefully the ballista can start taking them out Armoured swordsman, I could charge them. Bring the generals out behind them in that case. Attack the heavy knights with these units. Hopefully the spears will hold. Are they going to be charging the cavalry into the knights? I don't know. Lagging slightly for me. Probably because there's lots of units on the field at any given time. And there's a chance to charge the armoured swordsman, which I'm going to take. Reinforce the armoured sergeants. Cavalry going to be chasing. The food lights going to be chasing my units, which is expected. These two ballista units can turn around and start firing upon the English that side now. And we actually have a Myronoid spearman to throw in. Oh, the lag is too much for me. I think a little bit too much lag. Cavalry did well, now the cavalry gets to show off and charge into the backs of the armoured sergeants while I pour more men in. I'm going to actually hit them with one of these ballistas from close range. I'm going to pour some arrows into them while I dilly dally with the knights up here. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their there we go, one part of the line is gone. Cavalry doing fantastic. This is what I can do with the cavalry. I can start charging them from behind and start breaking the whole line. This is good so far. I'm fairly happy with this. Right, they're all gone in the centre. We've won, defeated the first army. Now we got to regroup quickly. So we're going to be turning the spearmen around. Oh my god, how quick I got off to be here. My nice spearmen. Group up behind. Don't have much left, do we? 
attack the heavy. Oh, there's only 20 of them. Attack the armored sergeants in that case. All my bows turn and fight. Have we killed all the English here? Oh, we haven't. Oh, we will have soon, though. Get the male knights on that left flank quickly. Charge the male knights into the long bowmen to get an early break on them. Right, um, oh god, this is... Too many bows are being caught up there for my liking. This is good, though. Charging the long bowmen head on. Hopefully we can rout them before they arrive, which we have. Excellent. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to bring the ballista equipment back, or have to sacrifice them, even. I'm going to try not to sacrifice them. I'm going to march forward very gently. This siege equipment can actually attack for me. Town Militia, I would charge them with the cavalry. Town Militia will break easy. It's all Town Militia. Holy shit, get in there quickly, guys. Reinforce quickly. Sight the bowmen. Start attacking them now. It's town militia, ignore them. Oh, we, we charge straight through their line and we're starting to break them as well. We're breaking all the English. We're going to save the ballistas. General can get out there quickly. Second general can charge in. Break the town militia. There's English running all over the place. Oh, and these feudal knights are still remaining. Turn and charge those feudal knights. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Oh my goodness. <laughs> charge. The enemy army flees the field. Oh, we've got this in the bag, guys. We've defeated... This is this is Nottingham taken, this is. What an epic battle. Mardi, you absolute beauty. Mardi has been an absolute saint. The saint of Wales. Forget Saint David. Saint Mardi has pulled off a masterclass against two armies. They're still fighting back, some of the English are. Need to be careful we don't lose. I think we're going to be okay. Get all the bows to aim on those feudal knights. Oh my goodness. Absolutely wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. The generals have barely lost any men, which is the part I find scary. Gonna chase them all off. We're actually chasing them off the field. Whew. All that's left is this unit up here. What is it? Three heavy cavalry. Gonna fast forward this. Got this one in the bag, I think. Should route. The there we go. The End the battle there. Oh, the Battle of Nottingham Fields, I think we'll call that one. <laughs> oh, look at the ransom value as well. I could ransom, and England would probably accept, but we want to kill them off, so we're going to execute them. I don't want any more English reinforcing Nottingham. And the Barons Alliance have actually formed. Oh, and I'm, unfortunately. Oh, shit. I didn't actually want that at this stage of the campaign because I wanted to take over the rest of those English lands. The England's barons have actually revolted. Gwynn of, Mor uh, of Glamorgan, basically. Morganog, of course, yes. Enemy army routes. End of turn report. And we are in the lead in production, population, and overall as well, which is fantastic. Faction announcements. Construction, so Oxford and London. And recruitment reports. So let's have a quick look now at the campaign map before we wrap up this episode. So, the king is heading towards Nottingham. He's going to go there. And Mardi is going to attack Nottingham. We will maintain the siege for now, but we should be able to take that very easily indeed. 
barely anything defending Nottingham. Now, unfortunately, the Barons Alliance has formed. I was hoping to stall that for as long as I could because I wanted to get Newcastle. But my failure to take Newcastle up here has actually resulted in me not able to take this land. And I could probably attack the Barons Alliance anyway, which I'm actually going to be doing. What I will do is this Welsh army is going to go to the border and it can actually be grouped up with Captain Aineon. These two are going to group up to take Newcastle. I can actually be a bit more aggressive and plan this assault on the English because these two armies will be enough to take Lincoln and Nottingham. So now we want to think about our invasion of England over here. So I've actually started recruiting some ships. We want to be recruiting some more. So we want to get two hulks and a cog. We want to get Scythia the Bowman. Do we, what do we have at the moment? We have two units of Scythia the Bowman. We want to get four units of Scythia the Bowman and two Medanoid Spearmen. Canal Vaughan is going to be a hub for good units. It's going to have lots and lots of good units. And I'm going to drag other units from nearby. I get my Prince of Wales from uh, Shaftesbury probably. The other army I'm building here. And that's, that'll be enough to take that. And then basically these armies I'm going to be having around here. Which will be taking out Lincoln and then eventually York and Newcastle. And Nottingham of course. Will in fact be going north to take on Scotland. So I'm, I'm thinking about... Basically, it's like it's like chess. You think about the immediate, but you also think at least five or six turns ahead, and that's what I'm trying to do. I know I'm going to be fighting Scotland probably as soon as the English are gone, so I need to start sending stuff north to the border settlements. My spy, for example, where is he? I got a spy in Lincoln here, which isn't needed in Lincoln. He's going to be going north. He's going to be going to Scotland for me. I have a second spy. At Lincoln, don't need him anymore. He's going to do exactly the same thing. He's going to be heading north, going to Scotland. So I can see what's going to go on in Scotland before I even get there. But I think... Let's see, we'll assault. I think we probably ought to resolve this one. Actually, we will probably have to fight this next time. So let's withdraw for now. And maintain the siege. So I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Goodbye.